What is the people? This is why I search you. And in this video, I'll be talking about risers, the place to buy them, the different types of risers and their powering schemes. So let's get started. Now the best place to get risers is Alibaba. If you do a simple search for risers, these are the risers that you will see. Now I have opened these, these risers in different tabs and will take you through the three main types of risers. Now these are the latest risers that are available in the market. These have an LED and the advantages are quite good. The riser design is same as the previous one, but the only added functions are that it has an LED and the second thing is the powering options. Now this riser would give you three powering options. One is the 15 pin, uh, 15 pin SATA. The next is the four pin interface and the last one is the six pin interface. I like these risers because of the powering methods, but the only disadvantage is this thing, the one X card. If you look at it closely, the USB ports don't line straight. They are rotated 90 degree and hence these can prove to be a problem when working on motherboards, which have their PCI slots side, uh, side by side. And the other problem that I have is the price. The next type of risers and my most favorite risers are these ones. These are blue colored risers and the PCB design is, is the same as the white ones. The only difference being that it has only one power connector. That is the six pin one. And I'm happy with it. Why? Because a six pin power connector gives the GPU enough power through the express port, the PCI express port. And the other advantage of this one is the Phoenix card. If you look closely, you will see that the USB port lines straight with the riser and hence you can plug these directly from the top. And the advantage is that if your motherboard has PCI slots side by side, then these would work properly. And the other th and the other thing that I don't the thing that I don't like of with these risers is this converter cable. This might be useful for some, but I always avoid them. Why? Because of this limitation of powering via SATA. Now the third and the last type of risers that that is these ones. Now if you look at these. They come with less capacitors, uh, an inductor is missing, a controller is missing. So these are pretty old ones. And if you look at the power, uh, at the powering, then the only powering option that you have is a SATA one, which I don't like. And the price is also quite high. These blue ones, these come at the right price and they and they function properly. So these were the risers. Now the port expansion cards. I usually hate these and I don't recommend anyone using these. But if you use, then what these do is that they convert one express PCI slot into three other into three different PCI one X slots. That's it. It has an onboard controller which does it. How these are connected to the motherboard is similar to how we connect the risers. It comes with a 1x slot which plugs into the motherboard. Then from there a USB goes into the main board of this controller and from there it is divided into three, into three lanes. The similar thing can be uh, can be bought in four lanes. Is the whole uh, is the same thing. The one X slot from the a USB, a, the USB to the expansion board and from there four risers can be connected. But you'll have to keep in mind that risers would be necessary to connect this board to the GPU. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about powering. For powering, as I talked earlier, for risers, you have either a SATA port a SATA slot, powering slot or a six pin one. 
and for the GPUs, it's either the 6 pin and the 8 pin or the 8 pin or the 6 pin. So if you talk about SATA, then this is the type of cable that you will see. And mostly about four of these ports are on one 6 pin wire. Why? Because each of these can provide up to 22.5 watts through a slot. The next type of wire is the 6 pin one. Now these are common. A GPU would require it. Some do, some don't. And a riser would require it. And I highly recommend connecting risers through a 6 pin. The advantage of a 6 pin is that it can provide 75 watts. And on most power supplies, each 6 pin cable will have two 6 pin outputs. And hence that cable is rated for 150 watts. So two of these would be divided into 75 watts each. So these would connect directly to the riser, that is this one's this uh, six pin slot or a GPU's six pin slot. And the final type of cable is this one. This is known as the eight pin cable. Now each of this connector is capable of providing up to 150 watts. And each cable is cable has two of these and hence the cables to total rating is about 300 watts. So two GPUs which work under 150 watts can be connected using the same cable. And a question might arise, why provide 75 watts to a riser? Well, the reason is quite simple. A PCI Express slot can provide up to 75 watts. And we don't want to starve our GPU of wattage because it would directly affect the hash rate. So that's it for this video. The next video would be on power supplies. So thank you people for watching this video. Like this video or dislike it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Go through my other videos. And see you next time. Ta-da!